Today we're going to be talking about hooking up two pieces of MIDI capable equipment using MIDI DIN. In particular, we'll touch on MIDI TSR adapters and dive into the differences between Type A and Type B adapters. MIDI DIN is a 5-pin connector. You can see an example of it in the uh, upper right, and it's called a 5-pin because it has the uh, 5 connections on it. And it's a, a standard connector. The size, the shape, the hole spacings are all standardized so that manufacturers from different places can just pick a 5-pin DIN connector, and it, and it will work with other pieces of equipment that have 5-pin DIN connectors. So if your piece of musical equipment has a connector on the back that looks like this, then you should be able to take a through cable, a MIDI patch cable, you can see there on the left side, that has the five pins in it. You plug one end into the keyboard, one end into your synthesizer, and the signals will go from your keyboard to drive your synthesizer, and you'll be able to play and, and make music. If you have a keyboard with a MIDI out, and you might have an in and you might have a through, but you should at least have an out, and if your synthesizer has a out or a through, depending on its capabilities, but it should at least have an in. If you just connect the out from your keyboard to the in of your synthesizer with a simple through cable, you should be golden. You should be able to, to make music. Unless, of course, you have a synthesizer like the IK Multimedia Uno, which is a great synthesizer, but something you notice when you look at it, top, bottom, back, front, and sides, is that it doesn't seem to have a 5-pin DIN connector on it. What it does have, if we look right down here, is uh, two small headphone looking jacks on it. And we notice they're labeled MIDI in, MIDI out, but obviously we can't plug a five pin DIN connector into that. So that's not going to work. Our keyboard has a five pin DIN connection on it, but not our synthesizer. Another example is the Korg NTS-1, a nice small synthesizer, really fun. Um, you also, don't see a five pin DIN connector anywhere on it. But again, what you do see is a small headphone jack looking port on it. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to use a five pin DIN cable to talk to the NTS-1. So what are you gonna do? Fortunately, there exists adapters that will convert from the small headphone jack looking ports out to a 5-pin DIN connection, and they're known as MIDI TRS. So MIDI TRS, what does that stand for? Well, the TRS stands for tip ring sleeve. And if you look at the, the headphone plugs, you'll notice they have three silver bands on them. Those three silver bands are the electrical connections, and they are the, known as the tip, the ring, and the sleeve. So there are three electrical connections out at the tip ring sleeve jack. But hold on, there are five connectors in the DIN connector, but only three on the TRS. How does that work? Well, how it works is that the MIDI standard only uses three of the connections in the five pin DIN connector. So two of the pins are never used for a standard MIDI cable. Now, some manufacturers co-op some of those other pins for specific custom uses, but the standard only defines three of the pins that are used. And so if you have three of the five pins on the five pin DIN and the three connections on the tip ring and sleeve, that works out just fine. You can convert from a TRS out to a five pin DIN, no problem. All right, so now you're thinking, great, all I gotta do is I just gotta run out and buy a MIDI TRS cable and I'm good to go. Unfortunately, no, because it turns out there are two types of MIDI TRS cables out there, a Type A and a Type B. Okay, Type A and Type B. Well, what's the difference? The difference is, is that the pins on the DIN connector, particularly five and four on the DIN connector, connect to different locations on the tip ring sleeve connector. Pin two on the DIN on both Type A and Type B connect to the sleeve, but pins five and four are swapped with an A versus a B style MIDI TRS adapter. And unfortunately, they are not compatible. If your piece of equipment requires a type B and it needs the pin five at the uh, tip or the ring, it will not work with a piece of equipment that needs a type A that has the pin five or the pin four swapped. So 
These cables are unfortunately not compatible. You need to know what your piece of equipment needs before you go out and buy one of these adapter cables. So now you might be thinking, well, that's frustrating. You know, why do we have um, two different styles of cables, A's and B's? You know, we have MIDI standards. Why don't we have a standard for these tip ring sleeve MIDI adapters? Well, it turns out that we do. The MIDI Manufacturers Association actually has defined, if you see here, specifications for the use of tip ring sleeve connectors with MIDI devices. So there, there actually is a standard and you can see it. It defines which pins are used, how they're hooked up. And if you look at the hookup, turns out with uh, five at the tip, four at the ring and two at the sleeve, that conforms to A type A. Oh, okay. So the MIDI Manufacturing Association, it, it does define a MIDI TRS and it's a, a type A. So why do we have type A's and type B's? Well, we'll get to that in a second. But before we leave the uh, standard, something else I want to point out is that the standard on the second page also defines the size of the connector. And you can see that the recommended size of the connector is a 2.5 millimeter. Now I'll point out that that's different from the, that's smaller than the most common tip ring sleeve connectors you would see on a standard set of headphones. Those are generally 3.5 millimeter. So just keep in mind that the standard defines a 2.5, but most commonly you'll find a 3.5 and that'll matter in a minute. But you can also see the standard says that note, if any other connector size is used, like for example, a 3.5 millimeter, all of the other specifications in the standard still apply. So now we've got the type A, we've got the type B, you know, we've, we've got a standard and the standard says type A, you know, why? Why do we have an A and a B? Well, because as often happens with standards, manufacturers are often out in front of the standards committees in terms of implementing. So as electronics become more powerful, as they become smaller, lighter weight, people want to pack them around. You can see on, for example, the Korg NTS-1, it's about the size of a, a paperback book. And there just really isn't room on it for multiple DIN 5 connectors. Manufacturers, knowing they only needed three connections, the three wires, picked a very common connector, the standard headphone jack, a three and a half millimeter tip ring sleeve connector, because it's the same for a, a stereo headphones. You've got a left channel, right channel, and a ground. So it's got the three connectors, very common, and the cables are very common. So manufacturers started putting those on their devices. And unfortunately, some manufacturers picked the tip ring sleeve configuration for pins five, four, and two that follow type A. Different manufacturers picked the configuration for type B. Commonly, and I'm just point out that on this slide, commonly you might find Akai Korg, IK Multimedia, Line 6 using type A, Arteria Novation using type B, but that's not a guarantee. You really need to look in your equipment's manual, user's guide, look to the back, see if you can find in the specifications, go to the manufacturer's website, make sure you know whether you need a type A or a type B before you buy one of these. These are just most commonly associated with the different manufacturers, but you do need to check for your specific piece of equipment. On the left here, a the Uno Synth. This is copied right out of the back of the manual. You can see they call out that it has a MIDI 2.5 mini jack to a DIN adapter. And if you see right below, I did measure it. I have one of these and I measured it and indeed it is a, a, a 2.5 jack, which is not a standard headphone jack. This won't drive, say, the Korg NTS-1 or a, a, a Arturia Beat Step Pro. Those need a 3.5 millimeter. Flip side of that is over on the right, the Korg NTS-1, you can see again, copied out of the manual. In the back, it calls out a 3.5 millimeter tip ring sleeve adapter. And it does say at least there that the NTS-1 needs a TRS MIDI A cable. With that information, you need a 3.5 TRS and it's a MIDI A. Should be able to go out and buy the right cable for the NTS-1. When you go out to buy a MIDI TRS adapter, you need to know, is it a type A, is it a type B? Because they are not compatible. You'll need to know which type it is for your piece of equipment. You need to look that up in your uh, manufacturer's literature. Next, you need to know what size is the tip ring sleeve plug. 
most commonly it'll be a 3.5 millimeter if you're going to buy an aftermarket one, but you need to check because it might be a 2.5. And I've even seen some that are quarter inch jacks, your, your common stereo, the larger jacks. Um, you need to know what type you need, what size TRS plug. With that information, you should be able to go out and buy yourself the proper adapter. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. If you found this content interesting, I'd hope you would subscribe. It does give me feedback and give me an idea of what people are interested in and, and what they're not. So anyhow, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and we'll see you on the next one.